Hi, this is Jackie Murray with the Structured Learning Technology Curriculum. I'm your guide. I'm with Ask a Tech Teacher. And we're in fifth grade technology. We're in lesson 11 on internet search. Now, internet search is a lot more involved than it sounds by saying just one lesson. But if you've been following along with the curriculum, you probably have seen that every every less every grade level we talk about internet search. So a lot of the material in this lesson is going to be a review of what students already have. If this is your first year in introducing internet search to students, then you, you'll want to take it more slowly than what you would normally get accomplished in a 45 minute class. So th the resources are there, There's um, and I have a lot more resources I could make available to you. You'd want to get a hold of me through our discussion board and say, okay, I haven't introduced this particular topic. What can you do to help me with that for resources? And, I, and I'll put you on to a, a long list. Most of them are on my Ask a Tech Teacher blog under the websites, the apps, and the resources lists at the top of the page. So I don't think there's any new words here that students won't know, but there are certainly words that they want to be used to using as they're talking about internet search. Um, I don't think there's any new problems that they haven't already faced, but go through them and, and you decide. For your students, there might be one. The browser bar toolbar is gone, so that might never have happened, and it's time that they knew what to do if that was the case. Um, Okay, and essential question, big idea. You do want to have screenshot program available so they can take screenshots of any project they're working on. Um, links for the projects, for, for the topics being addressed. Now most of them, if you have the student workbook, most of those links are already in the workbook, so you don't have to worry too much about it. But if you don't have the student workbook, then make sure you make them available. Assessment strategies are pretty much what we're already used to. Okay, they're still working on the problem solving board. Yeah, we're, we're good with that. And then any problems to talk about. These are the normal way that you open up a, a, a lesson. Evidence board. Okay, now open a search engine and this is where you're going to talk about it. Difference between search bar and address bar, which there isn't any anymore. Here's a basic video on internet search. If you have brain pop, if you don't have brain pop, and then discuss it. If students already know this material, it'll go pretty fast. It'll just be a review. The, the key ways that students search, it, it, here's a poster with them. Go over those if, if need be, or ask students about them, because that will tell you if you think they know them, but they don't. Okay, and then have them do some hands-on. Say, pick a topic that they're studying in class, um, Saturn's rings that we used as an example here, and have them search it with links, without link, with um, quotes, without quotes, with adding keywords to it to make it, to hone it into a particular topic. And just have them see the difference in what that makes as far as the hits they get. Also review the quality of the, of the hits. How reliable are the websites that they are going to? Here's, if, if, if you use um, Common Sense's Digital Passport, good time to do Search Shark. It does a really good job of reviewing how to search on the internet. And here's a couple more. I think that's, so I think that's really about it. They, you can have them practice their skills using a topic that they that you've covered in class and have them research it and, and see how it works and see where they get stuck as far as using that top researching that topic. Here's a couple ways you, you want to talk about one important step that they used in searching the internet effectively. So you can do that on a Padlet, on a Google form or on a Google spreadsheet. And here's how you would do that. It shouldn't take more than the three to five minutes allotted for a, an exit ticket. Have them fill that out and leave it. And they, if, if you're using one like either of these two, then they'll know that they have posted 
correctly because it'll show up on your class screen. If you're using a form, they'll, they'll get something from Google saying thank you for your entry, so they'll still know, but you won't know. It won't show on the class screen, so they'll have to tell you. Okay, guys, I don't think there's anything else in the student section. No, I think we're good. All right. Okay, guys, that's it. We'll talk to you later. Have a great week.